hey hey everyone welcome to another holiday hustle workout on my channel and if you don't know what that means yet you're about to find out anytime you see this these words holiday hustle on screen in the thumbnail between december 4th and 31st of 2023 if you comment on the video itself in the comment section giveaway you are enrolling yourself in a chance to win some free customized workout with Robin merch. It's very exciting. It's to kind of entice you to work out during the stressful, busy holiday season. I know we all live and experience every single year, okay? Workouts already on my channel, I try to make efficient and effective. And even more so am I promoting and doing that for the month of December. Okay, and then winners, I have tons of tons of prizes you can win and they're gonna fit you and suit your workout needs, okay? Uh, the winners will be drawn first week in the new year of 2024. All right, so that's all you have to do is comment. While you're at it, if you're not already subscribed, I will tell you now that betters your chances. So subscribe, maybe like the video because that's free help for me. And then just, uh, just comment, giveaway, just one word. Okay, sound good? If you want more information than what I've just given you now, you can head on over to my Instagram, Workout with Robin, and I've got a post about it. Okay, all right. Um, I have a bone to pick with the internet before <laughs> we get started. Uh, last night, I'm scrolling through Instagram, and I see this one post from a fitness influencer who claims to be more down to earth, realistic, tons of followers, ton like people even I know following them. But their post was this reel of themselves working out saying, um, you can you can build muscle with very little light equipment as long as you just do high, 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 high reps over and over and over. And I was like, pardon me, this is false information. And that's just clickbait to get you to go work out with them. And I am not a fan of that. I am taking the slow and steady approach in this world, the virtual world of fitness. I'm just trying to promote realism. I'm just working out my basement, whatever I would do by myself. I'm doing it in front of a camera and trying to help you as well. But lifting super light weights for God knows how long of an interval to build muscle is just not having it. How many times do you hear me stress and moan and groan that if the weight is not, if you're not feeling it after X amount of reps, you should be increasing the load, right? And I feel like most fitness folks, coaches, instructors would uh, back me up on this. And so I was very disappointed to see that person post that. So just if it seems like too good to be true, it's probably it's probably too good to be true. Okay, so that's my uh, PSA. Let's get down to business. It's full body hit day. Same formula as yesterday's leg day. I'm going to try to keep it most of the week. Every week for December, probably similar formulas for the workouts, just to keep it simple and uh, uh, easier for you to expect what's to come. Okay. Not much equipment needed for this circuit. 40 second intervals. I have a kettlebell, that's just what I chose today. You don't, if you don't have a kettlebell, that's no problem, but that's what I will be deadlifting with. RDLs are on the board first thing. And I have a heavier, medi extra medium dumbbell for snatches. And I might hold on to that as well for Biggie Smalls if I don't do body weight. The rest are body weight movements. I will talk through low impact uh, alternatives once we get get going. Sound good? Four rounds of the circuit at hand. That's it, that's all. And then you're on your merry Christmas way. All right, uh, let's get warmed up. Get your workout zone ready. I obviously, I also have a mat from where we're laying down. Cushion for the, for the tushin. Let's get warmed up. <laughs> Music. Oh, I need more volume. Give me one second before I hit that timer. Volume just for myself. Makes no difference on your end. 10 second countdown. Meet me center stage. All right, just a warm up. We're going to do squat to a bicycle crunch. Hands up, down, 
knee to opposite elbow. Alternate. Waking up the body, arms up, knees up, squat down. Shake it loose, step reach. Side to side, pull through the back, reach for the walls. Starfish stance, straight arms, straight legs. Opposite toe touch. Bend in the center, reset, back down. Walk it in, overhead reach, opening up side body, side to side. Feet are just a little wider than hip width apart. High knees, move the arms however is comfortable for you. Get blood flowing head to toe. We're gonna turn this into butt kicks. You're gonna push and pull the air in front. Let's go. Stand up tall. Breathe easy. Put a smile on the face. Working the whole body today. Back to squats, arms up, add the bicycle. So today is about strength training as well as some cardio core. A little bit of everything. Reach side to side. Try to extend even further than round one. Toss out any bad vibes to the walls. Get rid of them. Starfish. Opposite toe touch. Take a wider stance. Push the limit just a little bit. Makes for the greater reach for a greater stretch. Walk the feet in, overhead reach again, side to side. Dig deep. Back to high knee. Get some arm movement. Oh, that's a butt kick. Here we go. High knee. Knees up, up, up to the ceiling. Butt kicks now. Switch it out. I got an underhand pull and push in front of me. One more round of our warm up coming up, starting with squat, bicycle crunch, okay? Shake it loose. Here we go. Breathe easy. Shake it loose. Reach side to side. Feel it through the shoulder blades, right to fingertip. Pivot toe to toe. Starfish, extra wide, opposite toe touch. Let's go. Keep your wide stance, okay? We're gonna squat down, lunge, 
overhead reach, switch, same thing. Try to stay straight, upright, not too far leaning forward. Walk it in, high knee. Take it wide. Wake up those hips, then narrow. Wide again, and narrow. Butt kicks, switch it out. Already feeling warm. I also feel the heat coming down from my vents. They're closed, but they're, the air is coming through. And I know I'm going to be sweaty by the end of this. All right, warm up complete. We're going to get right into it very shortly. Romanian deadlift, so it's more of a stiffer leg. Stop bending in the knees. My kettlebell, I think it's 35, 40 pounds ish. It's all marked off, so I can't remember. Jump squats or a squat to calf raise to follow, okay? I'll talk us through the rest once we approach those moves. 40 seconds of movement, remember. Take your time. Here we go, roll the shoulders back, weight in hand. Weight close to the shins, hinge back, up and squeeze. Feel the stretch down your hamstrings. Engage your core. Straight spine all the way. Slow and steady. Squeeze the butt at the top. Push the floor away through the heels. Three, two, one. All right. No one's favorite jump squats. Or squat to a calf race, like I mentioned before, as your modification, okay? 40 seconds is kind of lengthy. We're going to do our best. You sink in the knees, burst through the balls of your feet. I like some aerodynamic arm action. So we're a little in the middle. Prayer position. Explosive. Try to be gentle on your landing if you can help it. You don't need to jump high, high, gazelle-like in the air. It just has to be a little lift. Okay? 10 seconds. Time. All right, snatch. Listen carefully if you're not confident with this movement. I don't want you to hurt yourself. You need one dumbbell, a wider stance in your, in your feet. Sink in the knees, weight between the legs, tuck the elbow, load up, toss overhead. Control on the way down, switch at the bottom. Tuck the elbow, strong overhead. Okay, super Hercules. Picking stuff up with ease, throwing it up. You can see in my profile, I'm like in a little half squat. Spine is straight, feet are grounded. Keep that elbow tucked. That prevents you lifting through the back and throwing out your back all through here. No. All right, now really clear your area. We're gonna shuffle the perimeter. Side to side, decide your boundary. Just a little cardio hustle. Fast, nimble feet, back and forth. And we'll get more music in a second. Yes. <laughs> you need low impact, side step. Keep tension in the quads. Try to pick up speed to keep your heart rate challenged. Burn more calories, improve your endurance. Hi. 
time. Excellent. Okay. Now we get to rest and lay on the ground. Round one, I'm going to try just body weight. See how I'm feeling. We extend arms overhead, legs long for the biggie. And then reverse crunch in for the small. Try. Have that hover above the ground with your legs and arms as close to the ground as you can manage. Some of you, you might look like this. Your legs might be up. Challenge yourself to have the bottoms of your feet face the wall, not the ceiling. Does that make sense? Breathe easy. Big exhale through the hard parts. All right, excellent. Stay down. Bicycle crunch. So we did standing bicycles in the warm up. We're just going to lay down and feel the burn. Hands behind your ears. Don't cradle your head. Again, pedal towards the wall instead of the ceiling as best you can. Choose your speed. Go at your own pace. Side to side, you're lifting your shoulder blade off the ground. Your hands aren't doing any of the work to hold your head, okay? Relax your neck. Ten seconds. Time! And I'm, uh, I'm sweaty. All right, rest. Water break if you need it. A little sippy sip. One round in. Check in the pocket. Three more just like it. Not too shabby. Definitely a full body experience. A little lift, a little cardio zest. And core. What more could you want? Back to the beginning. I think I need a little, a little hydration. Cheers. Deadlifts just start in 10. Weights in hand, let's get set up. And let's go. You know the instruction. We're like bobbing ducks in water. Oop. Up and squeeze, keep it tight. Remember, push the floor away through the feet. Yes, feel the stretch down the back of your leg. Breathe through it. Core is active. One more. Time. All right, body weight style. Jump squat. Or squat to calf raise. We ready? We lasted one round. We can do it again. Let's go. If I can go on autopilot in this move, I try to. And I focus on controlled breathing. For me, it helps the longevity of this movement that I actually dislike a lot. <laughs> I don't know why. Quads on fire, heart rate's high. <laughs> Who wants that? 10 seconds. Five. Four, three, two, one. Excellent, okay. Get that dumbbell. Snatch, snatchy, snatch is next. If you wanna take it a step further than the last time, it's between your feet on the floor, squat down with a straight spine, and then perform it. If that's too much and you can't get the form right, keep that uh, straddle between the legs. I always feel so strong doing snatches. Three, two, one. 
Excellent. All right, clear the way. Shuffle time. I also love, you know me, throughout the workouts, I like changing our direction, our body up, down. So adding the shuffle in wakes up our brain to go side to side and adds a little hustle. We can recover for, from it in the next two moves and lie down, right? Seconds, keep it going. Three, two, one. Down we go. I'm going to try some weighted Diggy Smalls. Weights in my hands. Pretending it's not there. <laughs> Holding the weight carefully. Keeping it under control. Don't hold your breath. Mind to muscle here. All in the center of your body. Work those abs. Keep your pace. Ten seconds. Time! Stay down! <laughs> I'm real down. Bicycle crunch up next. Reset the bod. Relax your neck, relax your shoulders. Hands up. Let's go. Fast or slow, it's all effective. Just crunch that core side to side. Try to extend the leg out straight. Bring it back into center. Breathe. 10 seconds. Three, two, one. Excellent. Rest. Two sets in, two to go. Killing it. You're doing so well. I am, I am. Water break, rest, full active recovery here. Dance break if you need it. All right. Also, did we notice that I'm trying this uh, Gen Z sock situation again? Am I pulling it off? Don't answer that if it's not nice. <laughs> I'm already like self-conscious about it. But they're Lululemon, so I mean, that's cool. Deadlift. I just remember younger, being younger, and you get tube socks for Christmas. Uh, and you were not thrilled, but you got them. And ankle socks are just what's cool. But you don't have them, or they're in the wash. So you go to those tube socks you got reluctantly and you fold them down in halfsies to make your own anklet. Everyone knows what you're doing, but everyone else is doing the same thing too. Time. Then sometimes if you fold too much, it, you, lose, you lose it in your shoe and then your heel is exposed. And that's all you can concentrate on. We got jump squats. Or you didn't fold them low enough and they just chunky socks around your legs. <laughs> What's a girl or guy to do? Trying to beat the, <laughs> see any peer pressure, trend, faux pas alert. Those are my memories. So now that these are cool, they're okay, okay, finally, finally my chance. Tell me I'm not alone in that. Time. 
Snatch up next. Mind you, I'm also old enough to have enjoyed slack socks on top of my stirrup pants. So I have lived the chunky sock life. They just weren't so tight. <laughs> Let's go. Keep your focus. Feel super strong here. Picking things up, tossing them up over and over. Getting, getting stronger. Sinking those knees. Terrific. All right, shuffle time. Oof, catch your breath. Tighten the pony. Pull up the socks. Ready, set, let's go. Keep it going, keep it going. Round three, we're getting a little more tired. Push through. Hustle, hustle, 10 seconds to go. Don't lose form. Don't be sloppy. Time, rest, rest easy. Have a little lie down. It's a trick lie down, because now we're gonna work. But it's nice. All right, biggie small. Feel the pull in your core, crunch it, extend, crunch, extend over and over. Keep it going. Almost there, couple more. Time, alrighty. Am I blocking my head from your beautiful eyes? <laughs> Here, now you can see me struggle in the face. Bicycle crunch. Let's finish round three on a high note. Perhaps try changing your tempo here. You could slow it down, side to side. Or if you're used to that, let's go pedal to the metal. Speed it up. Keep it going, few seconds left. Time for my core. Doors to the core. Oh. You're doing terrific. We got one round left. We are motoring. I got grease lightening my hair. I think it's hair washing day. Probably. Unless I'm gonna be slick Rick. All right. Let's make this last round extra good. Work hard. Be mindful. So if you need to change your weight. Last round of everything, might as well challenge yourself now. Get that now, switch it out. Weight in hand, deadlift to start. Let's go. Grow those glutes. Halfway. Ten seconds. Let's go. One more. 
Excellent time. I'm going to put this guy away. Clean up when I can. Whew. All right, jump squat. Ah, I like them better than thruster. Here we go. But not by much. Keep it motoring. Ah, halfway! Quads are heavy. Super solid. We got this. Five seconds. One more. Good. Snatch. <laughs> Grab that weight. I think I want heavier. Let's go. Instant regret. <laughs> what a difference. Five pounds makes immediately. Come on, let's go! <laughs> One more! Duper! Duper, a uh, duper! Shuffle time! How are we doing? One of these? I knew it. Shuffle, shuffle, let's go. I like the little toe cross reach side to side. A little extra squat, a little extra core crunch. Allows for that momentum to stop one way. Switch gears. Keep it going, pick it up. 10 seconds. Five. Right on. You see the finish line is near. No surprises. Let's lie down for Biggie Smalls. Just collapsing over here. Ready, Freddy, let's go. We will have a little cool down stretch at the end of the workout. So stay tuned if you'd like before logging off. Won't be too, too much of your time. Keep it going. Couple more, get them done. Woo! Time. Oh, one more move today. Crushed it, my friends. Thanks for working out with me. Bicycle crunch to finish round four of four. Let's go. I'm gonna pedal to the wall, bottom of the foot towards the wall, so flex it up. Halfway. Ten seconds, let's keep going. And time. Applause for you. Pat yourself on the back. All right, I'm just going to put this dumbbell away. Move the mat a little closer to the middle. And let's stretch. Feel free to stay down on your mat. That's where we'll, that's where we'll start. A little lie down. Oh, we got some red tinsel. <laughs> a little hairball. 
All right, let's go long. Stretch overhead, stretch the legs down. Bring one knee into the chest. Ankle circles. A few clockwise, a few counter. Bring that knee cross body. Try to get it to the ground on the other side. Look the opposite direction. Hold it here. Feel that stretch around through the glutes, up through center body. Back to the middle, same leg still in the chest. We're gonna cross it over the other leg. Thread the needle, pull it in. We got more side glutes stretching here. And release. Other knee comes into the chest. Ankle circles both directions at your own pace. I got some crunchy, clicky bits from working out. When you're ready, knee to opposite side, look the other way, hold it. I wonder. Back up. Cross that leg over. Thread through. Hold the knee pit. Stretch side bump. Technical turn, right? Sean Mendez. There's a little place right here. <laughs> Cat cow. So get in the tabletop. Stack shoulders over the wrists, hips over the knees. Round up, push the floor away. Flex it down, gaze up. Back and forth at your own pace here. Couple more. Now we're gonna thread an arm through. Clunker down, arm overhead reach, hang tight. When you're ready, same thing, other side. We got reaching both directions, stretching out upper, upper limbs. Back to tabletop, okay, square it up. We're gonna draw circles with our bodies, doing some wrist mobility. I'm going clockwise. Once I've done about four or five, go the other direction. All right, then we can rotate the fingers towards your knees. Let's lean back and forth. Feel it up the forearms. If you have a desk job, this probably feels even more amazing. Okay. Now be gentle with this next one as always. Palms up. We're gonna lean backward and forward as much as you can tolerate, but you're gonna feel it up top the forearms. It's a little intense, I know, but it's so good for our wrists. All right, up to your feet. Let's roll up slow, slow, slow. Arms overhead, shake it loose. Again, inhale up, shake. One more, inhale, hold hands, pull to one side, and the other. One more time each side. And back. Right, shake that loose. Interlace the fingers. Round out chin to chest. Invert fingers, arms up, back extend. Again, round. Invert, up, 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 stretch it back. All right, let's get one breath overhead. Exhale, shake it loose. Thank you for joining me. Excellent work today. Go drink your water.
go eat your protein, have a good shower, have a great day. And I can't wait to see you next time. <laughs> Bye.